Hi, welcome to Calypso Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll see how to work with barcodes. It's possible to capture barcodes inside your Calypso application without having to configure anything in your project. All you need is to make sure that your device supports wedge mode, where the scanner transforms the barcode into keyboard data. This means you'll capture the barcode in the input box who has focus. Let's give it a try in our project. I'm going to test in my Windows device. I'm going to put the cursor in the login input box. And I'm going to simply read the barcode. As you can see, without configuring anything in our project, the barcode scanned by the mobile device was captured in the input box who has focus. Working in wedge mode can lead to errors. The best way of leading with it is to tell the scanner to send the scanned barcode directly to our application. That can be achieved by using the barcode actions available in Calypso. Let's return to our project and the rule is as follows. In the opening of the first form, we should add the barcode connect action. In the closing of the form, call the barcode disconnect. Then barcode enable and define where to store the red barcodes. Specify where you want to store the scanned barcode and its type. In order to be able to use them anywhere in the project, here we choose global variables. Let's call them barcode and barcode type. Now let's go to the product form actions. Finally, we need to know when the barcode was scanned. For that, we add the barcode scanned event available in the barcodes button. This means that this event is triggered whenever a barcode is scanned, regardless of the device who scans it. Now we can do whatever we want with it. For instance, I'm going to search for the product on the table and select it. Remember that we have on this form a table where we display all the products. So, with table find, we get the index of the line where the product is. We want to search in this control, in this column, compare a string with the value of global variable barcode, starting at line 1, and save the result to temporary variable 0, which I'm going to call it index. And now, with set selection, we can say that we want to select on the table our index temporary variable. Let's make one safety check first. If the product isn't found, we do nothing. Save. Let's deploy and test. Login. We can go to products. And I can try to read a barcode. And nothing happens because there isn't a barcode with a red value but we can add a new product with the barcode I want. I can even read, but since the barcode is in manage mode, nothing happens. I'm going to input it manually. I'm going to call it barcode test and save it. We can see that's already here, so let's try to read it. And as you can see, the line is automatically selected. Let's go back to our project. Remember, barcode actions are generic, which means they work in any of these manufacturer. If you want, you can call specific equivalent actions to work only in the selected manufacturer. Which means that instead of barcode connect, you call Motorola scan connect. The action will only work if it's a Motorola device. When you call the barcode connect, it will work in any of the supported manufacturers. Congratulations, you've concluded the tutorial about barcode management. See you on the next one.